Hi everyone, welcome to these Cabbies Dolls and Toys. Today I'm going to do an actual unboxing video with you guys. I haven't done that in a while and I have one of my favorite toy companies of all time, Mattel. I have some Mattel dolls with me. I have Barbie Extra and I have two of the, the new, not brand new, but newer Cave Club Girls that are also by Mattel. And I want to unbox these and show you guys how great these dolls are. Welcome back you guys. I don't know if you guys have seen um, some of my other videos. I actually had a video around Christmas time showing the Barbie extras for the first time on my channel. And I absolutely love this line. So far there have been five dolls in the series. And this is actually doll number five. I do have three others, but I want to unbox this one with you because I literally just got her the other day. I got her um, from Target. She was $24.99, which I don't think is a bad price for a Barbie fashion doll with all the accessories that she comes with. She's so pretty. I've been wanting this one for a while. I don't know why she was the last one that, you know, I was able to get, but I'm so excited and I can't wait to unbox her and share her with you. But I want to show you guys the back of the box. You know, I got to show you the packaging. One of the things that I really love about Barbie is the packaging. I love how you can actually see everything that you're getting in the package. You know, you got the doll and all the accessories. Look at how cute this little sticker is, the rainbow sticker. All, as far as I know, all of the Barbie Extra dolls have a different uh, sticker on their package. It's really cute, something that's unique to them. I'm going to show you the back. The artwork on the back is so cute. I love it. It shows uh, the different in girls in the series that you can get. And they're all, they're not named, they're numbered. So like I said, again, this is doll number five. She comes with 15 accessories. Very, very pretty. So let's get to it. Let's open her up. This is really, really neat. Um, if you can see, it's the, you can almost punch out the back part. See the little, the little lines, it's like perforated, it's neat. I haven't seen one like this, a package like this. So I'm gonna try to get this out of here. I actually might still need my knife though. Okay, so so I got this far and it was a struggle. Look at this, look at this mangled mess that I did. So now I'm gonna try to get her out of here. Um, she is so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness, is she beautiful. Um, she's got a lot of little little things on her wrists and she's very pretty though. Oh, I cannot wait to get her out of here. Um, I'm going to be honest, you guys. I absolutely love this doll and I love the packaging, but this is not easy. Um, I've been struggling for, I want to say, about three or four minutes to get her out. And, um, you know, I know that a lot of you guys are adult toy collectors like I am. But we also have children that love these dolls and um you really do need an adult to help you get this out i'm an adult and and i almost needed nelson to help me <laughs> get her out but she's out and she is absolutely stunning i just wanted to say that um it has nothing to do with the quality of this doll which i think so far is amazing i love her um you know, I love Barbie and it's not going to deter me ever from buying them. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have to struggle a little bit with packaging um, sometimes. And that that's important to let you guys know, especially if you're going to buy this for a child. But there she is and she is stunning, 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 stunning. Okay, after another four or five minutes, I got all the accessories out. But uh, first, I want to talk about this beautiful, beautiful girl right here. OMG, you guys. She's amazing. Her makeup is, oh, her face sculpt, her makeup, everything is on point. I love how her lipstick is like a uh, purplish pink. It matches her hair, which I want to talk about her hair right now because out of everything I love everything about her but her hair 
Oh my goodness, her hair is what really is the reason that I wanted this doll so much because this is something that we do not see a lot in fashion dolls. Look at this. Her braids are meticulous, okay? And she has rainbow colored braids that are pretty soft for doll hair. So she has, oh, all the pastels in here. She's got yellow, um, like a really light, pretty green, purple, pink. Uh, this is just unbelievable and I don't know how well you guys can see this but the braids like I said they are just perfect perfection the braids the hairstyle is perfection she's got little um, you know uh, clear rubber bands at the end to hold the braids together so beautiful I love the design of her her clothes so I want to clear this up it was 15 Ex, um, accessories is what she had not accessories I'm sorry styling um, styling accessories so they were talking about what came with her and plus what was on her so she has gold earrings really pretty gold earrings and she has a really nice chain um, looks like a gold chain with a medallion she's wearing I love this jacket it's a uh, jean jacket with fringe it's like got that like 80s rocker fringe style going on the back of her jacket is beautiful so this is like a baby blue jacket and it has um like tangerine and pink flames on it so so cute and then her shirt underneath says love it's a white little um v-neck t-shirt that says love in blue with some um pink shadowing around it very very pretty and then she's wearing jean shorts not quite daisy dukes but kind of i guess kind of on that line they're, they're pretty short very cute she has fluorescent green socks and normally i wouldn't really like that but for some reason it just goes with everything and then she has these high heel uh, work boots like i i used to love um you know probably about five to ten years ago i had some boots just like this and they were timberlands and they had the um the chunky heel the work boot very very cute so she has um articulation at looks like the wrist the elbow um the shoulder her legs at the knees um not nothing at the waist but she's absolutely beautiful just by you know judging this doll alone she's probably one of the favorite my favorite dolls that i've had within the last year as far as um fashion dolls she's absolutely stunning and i always say to you guys i make a joke when i do my lolomg um videos and i always say these are bar these girls i love them because they're barbie with an edge well guess what barbie has an edge now and she is she is here to stay and she is definitely bumping up the competition not that and i love all the fashion dolls i do but i'm really really impressed with what they did with this line and it, i think it was time that they did this that that they gave barbie an edge i think it was time for that okay so now i want to show you guys the accessories first is these cute little black shades She's gonna look so, so sassy in these. Very cute. Love them, love them, love them. Then I'm gonna show you, it looks like she's got two little cuff bracelets here. This one is gold. Very pretty. And then this one is pink, which is gonna look so, so cute with everything, everything that she has on. And then my favorite is this little purse. So cute. I am such a bag girl, so I love bags and purses. And this is so cute. And it looks like it's supposed to be like see-through and it has like a, her cell phone on it. Very, very cute. And then it also comes with a little toy Jeep with her little doggy in it. I don't know what kind of dog this is supposed to be, but... He is adorable and he has a pink collar on. Whoop. And this is the little Jeep. Very, very cute. I love it. I'm really, really impressed. They did a, such a good job. I love all the accessories. She's absolutely beautiful. 
I am definitely impressed. She gets a 10 out of 10 for this for this girl right here. For number five. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Mattel launched a new line of dolls in mid to late 2020 called Cave Club. And I have a few of them. They were featured in one of my earlier videos and I absolutely love them. But this is the first time that I'm actually gonna be unboxing them. So, and I get to share that with you guys. So it's pretty cool. This is Bashley. She comes with her friend Snare, a little pet. And on the back of the box right here is a little um, write up of telling you a little bit about the Cave Club. Ever wonder who the first friends were? Meet the Cave Club, a truly unruly group of prehistoric kids who are way ahead of their time. I'm excited. These last two um, dolls that I purchased, the two that I'm going to show you guys, are honestly my favorite. And I believe they came from Wave 2, but they're my favorite. And you're going to see why. Wait till you see how cool. Oh. That was easy. Look. Oh my goodness, look at her. There she is. This is Bashley. Oh my goodness, is she cute. She is so cute. Look at the makeup or, or paint or makeup. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be paint or makeup, but she's got a really cool design on her face. She's got purple on her lips. She's got this really cool green line going across her face. Her hair is absolutely beautiful. It actually feels silky. So it's purple with a little bit of pink in it, mostly purple, and it's very, very curly. I'll show you guys the back. How awesome is this hair? OMG, she is a diva. She's a prehistoric diva. Look at her. <laughs> Look at the bone, the bone in her hair. It, this reminds me of the Flintstones, okay? So I grew up in the 80s and I watched the Flintstones a lot as a kid. And I think that's what draws me to these dolls. Um, and it's a really cool concept that I don't think has been done for an actual doll line. But she is so beautiful. I love her clothing. So she's got a little green accent thing right here. This is actually plastic. And what's in her hair is plastic too, this little bone comb thing. Her dress is like shimmery with a little lace underneath. There's two layers here. And um, she's got a, a little pink ribbon around the waist of her dress. Very, very cute. I love this design. And they she's not wearing shoes, but she is wearing, I don't know what the, you would call these. There's some kind of... Um, <laughs> say leg warmers but I know that's not right but some kind of fashion thing on her feet which is on her legs which is really really cute she's she's awesome she has um a lot of articulation so she's the wrists move the elbows the shoulders let's see, her head um not the waist the knees yeah and that's it but that's a lot that's a lot. That's a that's a really um, you know a lot of movement for for kids to play with. You know if 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 it's for a child and they're going to be playing with her, they will really really like that. Can pose and even me as a doll collector, I love it because I can pose her and so so cute. So now I want to show you guys the accessories that she came with. So this looks like a little uh, hair clip. Um, again, a bone. She's so cute in the back opens looks like a barrette I can get it open. okay <laughs> okay I didn't plan for this okay there we go see so it opens it's a little barrette right but the cool part is that this is a little extension so you can put an extension piece in her hair very very cute I like it it's green um I I don't know if I like the green I love the colors that are in her hair now so I don't know if I'm gonna use this but it is a neat piece and then a comb because little you know little kids love to comb their dolly's hair so that I thought that was neat and I love look at again a bone I just love it I love it they did such a good job um you know, with, with the gimmicks of, of this doll line. I love it. And this is Snare. This is her little pet. He's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. He looks like like half dinosaur, half parrot. <laughs> Look at his eyes are so pretty. 
He's got the prettiest eyes. And he's got this little peak here on the top of his head. So he's mostly all purple, uh, a little lavender, and then a darker purple, you know, for his little sprout of feathers or hair or whatever that is. And then um, his beak is green. He's cute. And then this, oh, this is neat. So she must be a, um, she must be a musician because this is her little instrument. Very cool. Ooh. Oh, and this comes out. Oh, so it's like a guitar or like a keyboard, I guess. Oh, that's neat. Very, very cute. So this is Bashley, and she is fabulous. What a wonderful doll. For $15.99, I cannot complain because that's what she cost me on Amazon, Amazon Prime. $15.99 for her and all the accessories. So I thought it was a really, really good deal. And another thing I want to tell you guys is um, with her packaging, just like that, not even a minute, I got her right out of the box. So, and you know, they're both, the, her and the Barbie Extra were made by Mattel. So it, I don't understand, you know, why they're like night and day when it comes to packaging, but the packaging on her was awesome. The last doll that I'm going to show you is also a K-Club girl, and she her name is Raquel, and she comes with a pet named Teddy Rex. I love the packaging on, on both of these dolls, actually, but Raquel's packaging is just amazing. I love the colors. The, the teal green is so, so pretty, and as you can see from the artwork, um, she's got a lot of that you know, in her hair and everything. But I love, love the artwork on these boxes. Okay, so I'm going to unbox her. And hopefully it will be an experience like the last one where I can just pop her right out. I couldn't believe how, e how easy um, Bashley was to get out of, out of her boxes. So there she is. OMG, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Everything about her is perfect. Her, I love the colors that they chose for her. So cute. And she comes with all of her accessories too. It looks a little similar to uh, Bashley's, but we'll see. I'm going to take her out of the packaging completely and I'm going to do a, a full review on her. Here is the beautiful Raquel. She is, this is cuteness overload. This girl is so pretty. Her face sculpt, her makeup on her face. Oh, she is absolutely beautiful. I love her hair. I love the colors in her hair. The I love this green, this teal aqua green. And then she's got, you know, streaks of purple and a little bit of green too. Oh, there's green in there too. Oh, really cute. Oh, and her hair is so soft. This is really, really pretty. Look at her headband. She's got a headband too, different than than uh, Bashley's, but they both have the you know the headpiece. This is pink, and then she has another little plastic piece. It looks like this is like jewelry. I guess this is their jewelry, the plastic piece that goes over their outfit or on their neck. And she has a funky little printed outfit, but it's cute. It works. I like that. I like the colors. And look, she's wearing those leg warmer things again, too. They, I guess they're like, you know, because they're cave people. So <laughs> they can't have actual shoes. So these are kind of like, reminds me of like Uggs boots, but without the boots. <laughs> I think it's cute. I think they did a really good job with her. And and she she's so sweet, too. Look at her. She looks so happy. She looks like a sweet girl. And... Again, you know, articulation in the wrist, arms, um, um, the wrist, elbows, sorry, shoulders, head, and the knees. Very cute doll. So for Raquel's accessories, she has the same little uh, extension hairpiece with the bone. Same thing. Very cute. I love the colors on this one. This one I may use. This one is very cute. I like it. And this is her pet, Teddy Rex. He's so cute. He's got a little little pink puff on top of his head. <laughs> a little puff ball on his head. He's so cute. He looks almost like, yeah, like, oh, there's stitching. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
They're stitching, so he's like a little stuffed animal. That's what it looks like. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. That is so cute. I love that. What detail, huh? And then she has her green, her green comb. And then this looks like a writing tablet. And it's pink. They really did a good job, you know, coordinating um, the accessories to her, the coloring. Okay, I'm trying to open this thing up. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look at that. So yeah, it's like a like a prehistoric writing tablet. There you go. Very cute. Really, really neat. So there's everything. I love her. I, I love the Caves Club line so far. I have, I believe I have all of them. Um, but like I said, these were the first two that I actually unboxed and I'm so glad that I did. And I will be getting the rest of them out of packaging soon so that I can put them on stands and display them because they really are beautiful, beautiful dolls. Mattel has been one of the top toy companies, doll companies for a very, very long time. And um, because they do amazing things with these dolls. I am so excited about Barbie Extra because you guys know I love my little fashion doll, diva dolls, and um, and they're doing that now, so that's really, really cool. And I love Barbie before. I have vintage Barbies that actually I'm going to be showing you some of them soon. Um, and, and as far as this line, I'm really impressed. They're pretty new. I'm really, really impressed. They, they're so cute. and. I think that so far they're doing a really, really good job with them. And if you guys want to see more of my Cave Club collection, leave it in the comments and maybe I'll unbox the rest of them for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.